Uh. Okay, ich dachte, das wäre jetzt zu Ende. Aber jetzt gibt es hier einen zweiten Lebenszweig, so gesagt. So, so gesagt. Forcing him to leave. There you did it. Not so hard after all. He turned out to be weak. Begging you to let him in. You had to be strong. Assertive. You read about it online. Shut your ears to his false promises. Imagine loud music in your head. Think of mom. Her safety. There. It's done. He won't be a problem anymore. Ups and downs. Rejected offer. Final goodbye. Ah, da konnte er dann auch ja, beim Tod seiner Mutter dabei sein und sich verabschieden. Becoming a technician. Hier endet sich dann der Life Path sozusagen. A father figure. Suspicious visit. Pool again. Walking away. Starting anew. Ghost from the past. Bad habits. Financial crisis. Seeing him again. Project Dolly. Und hier geht's dann eigentlich wieder ins gleiche zurück. Wie eigentlich hier unten, aber viel früher. Und eben als Technician. Ziemlich interessant. Wake up your altar. Ah, ich glaube, wir müssen jetzt zum Wump. Nope. Noch eins weiter runter. Um unser Alter zu erschaffen, wahrscheinlich. Jan Technician. Progress 100%. Waiting for wake up. Initia initialization. Und da ist unser Selbst, aber als Techniker. Ah. Uh, crazy. Hey, hey Hello, hello, can, can you hear me? Uh, I, uh, what is this? Anxi anxiety, insecurity. Where am I? Relax, you're in a lab. Focus, this is an emergency. You're in a lab inside the SIBA unit. Your memories might be, uh, bit fuzzy but relax you're gonna be okay yeah recognize the base i think wait you look funny you ha ha oh. what was that i wanted to laugh but i'm like indifferent i think you're on some meds what What for? It's so you don't panic when you wake up. Why would I panic? I'll... I'll explain later. Right now, let's check your mental condition, okay? Do you think you can, uh, introduce yourself? Sure. Can you? Hm, es ist schlau, wenn wir uns zuerst vorstellen. Wir lassen ihm den Vortritt. You first. I insist. All right. Jan Dolsky, Senior Technician at Ally Corp. Mining Operations. There. Did I pass? Wow. Amazing. It actually worked. Hm. What? What worked? And who, what the hell are you anyway? This may be hard to process, but 
My name is Jan Dolsky, too. <laughs> of course it is. You're not bad. An imitation, but... What the hell are you? Is this some kind of experiment? Hmm? Because if it is, nobody warned me. Ich weiß nicht, ob diese ganzen Entscheidungen irgendwie einen Einfluss haben auf seinen mentalen Zustand. In a way it is. But you're wrong about one thing. Wegen diesen I'm not an imitation. So, Gefühlen hier. what's the experiment? Well, I got stranded in this base and um, well, I needed someone to help me move it. As it got broken. Then, okay, this is the crazy part. I learned that there's this functionality of the quantum computer on board to, uh, well, create alternate versions of a person's life. What? Replicate a person, but with different experiences. Mind records. If there's anyone in a bad mental condition in this room, it's definitely not. The QC's only functionality is to navigate these junkets. I mean, theoretically, it could do other stuff, but such bullshit. I know, it's absurd. I thought the same, but here you are, right? Right. And if I understand you correctly, you're telling me you're an alternate version of me with a different mind? Genau das ist es. Uh, sort of, yeah. And uh, you said we were stranded. Yes. It's just us. Like I said, there's a malfunction in the machinery. If you don't help me fix it soon, we're both gonna die. So, wait. Let me get this straight. This is an experiment in which... You're a different version of me. And this version of me woke me from cryo sleep to help fix a malfunction because there's no one else on board. What if there was no malfunction? Where would I be? Hmm, gute Frage. You'd still exist somewhere? Theoretically, at least. Theoretically? Wow. You bastard. I can see now what the meds are for. I can't even lash out at you. Just this passiveness. What am I? Look, this is a lot, and we'll sort it out. I promise. But trust me, if we don't fix the machinery fast, we're gonna go in a very bad way, and you'll never get the chance to understand this properly. Experience your feelings without the meds. <sighs> I don't like this kind of pressure. Well, that makes two of us. Fine. Show me the way. Okay. In any other case, I'd say don't touch anything here ever again. But unfortunately, this is a two-man job. On my sign, pull that lever over there. Just don't yank it like an idiot. Pull it gently. Ready? One, two, three, now. Yes! <laughs> it worked! You did it. We're gonna live. Let's get one thing straight. I did what you created me for. Now stay away from me. Oh. Hört sich ja gut an.
Jan Technician is born. Start the engines in the command center. Okay, hat nichts mehr zu sagen. Ich frage mich, wie es sein wird, wenn wir irgendwie hier zehn Jans rumlaufen haben. <lacht> so, jetzt aber start journey. Do you want to automatically collect structures before starting your journey? You can automatically collect mining outpost pylon component. Äh, klar. Das Schaf unten rechts. Okay, crazy. Journey one. Ich dachte wirklich, die Demo wäre schon längst zu Ende. Jan Technician in the kitchen. Oben die Altars Tab. Altars. The Altars tab allows you to check the mental and physical state of your altars. The event log on the left provides insights into recent events. I'm pissed off at Jan. He's really irritating. He looks a bit annoyed. Frustration, anxiety, gloom. Crazy. Talk to the altars. Hello, Jan. Na? Alles gut? Hey there. Er hat uns. said, don't come near. I get it. You're angry. I, I would be too. But I could really use your help. You know, if we manage to get the comms room running properly, we'd probably be able to get out of here faster. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. I don't give a damn about your comms room. We're moving, aren't we? Now get out of my face, creep. You don't get to talk to me like that. I'm in command of this base now. You'll do as I say or... Or... What? You'll send me back to that giant fish tank? Why don't you get yourself a repair kit and fix your own shit? I'm done doing your dirty work. Okay, I think that's the wrong answer. Repairing modules. In the workshop. In the workshop var here. Repairing modules. And jetzt up in the comms room. Der unter uns ist. Repair module. Das gut rauskommt, I don't know. Answer the call. Lucas online. Uh, hello? Uh Mr. Dalski? Yeah, yes, I'm 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 here. Are you okay? Serious? I just had a choice to either die in pain or duplicate and edit myself. I'm far from okay. It's uh, called branching. The duplicating and editing thing. I need to know if you pulled it off. Really? And I need to know who I'm talking to. I didn't catch your name. Oh, Lucas Pena, Space Traffic Control, Orbital Substation L7. Now, the branching. Did you do it? Huh. 
How can you be so calm about it? We do a lot of crisis management here at STC. We need cool heads. But you reported finding Rapidium. That's exciting, actually. Okay, I see. Ich glaube, die sind nun hinter dem Rapidium her. What about the mind records? Hm? What is all that personal data doing in the base computer? Oh, that's um uh, the, the corporation needs to ensure the safety of the mission and uh, basically everyone. It's confidential, of course. And it kind of saved your life. Hört sich gar nicht gelogen an. What the hell happened out there? What went wrong with the landing? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I'm still analyzing telemetry data from your flight, but it seems something went very wrong. No wow. Kidding. Yeah. We know there was a major system malfunction, but the reasons are unclear. It's too early to tell. We need more data. Do you know what killed the rest of the crew? Looks like an oxygen leak in the landing pods. No idea why, though. Then how come I survived? Mm -hmm. You tell me? You know, you're not very informative. You better help me. I don't like confusing assumptions with information, Mr. Dolsky. Conclusive evidence is more my thing. I want to talk to someone higher up. Do you have a boss? Uh, I might sound... I might sound young, Mr. Dolsky, but I'm not here by accident. No offense, man. I just need to know this stunt was authorized by someone. Look, I'm on my own here at the station. But I contacted my boss, and we're good. Nothing to worry about. Hört sich alles ziemlich shady an. Have you done this before? That would be hard, considering there's no Rapidium on Earth. So how did you know what would happen? I didn't know. I anticipated the outcome based on historic data. What historic data? Some old research. Nothing important. Hmm. I don't recall consenting to it. Well, you must have, since it's there. Maybe you didn't read your contract thoroughly. They like to put these things in fine print, you know. So, you're getting me out of here, right? You know how Not to fully. do it safely. Sure. First thing I'll need you to do is to transport the base to a safe and accessible destination. I'll dispatch the coordinates to you. Uh, second thing, do you think I could see this altar of yours? That's not a good idea. He's pissed off at me, won't cooperate. Then we have a problem. You won't manage without his help. The base needs more hands on deck. There should be a way to gain his trust. Show him you care, maybe? I told him I wouldn't survive without him. Yeah, that's just words. Maybe you should share something. What? Why? I don't know. Just a thought. My grandma used to say, sharing <laughs> is caring. Yay. Let me think. What can I share with him? My playlist? Yeah, true. Wait, suppose it's not about what you can share with him, but what you already do. Yeah, memories. Of course. Memories. I wonder if he remembers things the same way I do. Yeah. Mind records. See? You were so spooked by them, they could be a source of information. Fine. I'll check them out, see what happens. Shit, I, uh, gotta go now. Urgent call. I'll get back to you as soon as you reach your destination. Don't worry, you're in good hands. L7 out. 
Read about the altar's life in the QC. Ja, wir können... Das alles ist ja gleich. Bis dahin, wo sich die Wege getrennt haben eigentlich. In Kitchen. I've been thinking about what you said. We have more in common than you think. Yeah. Like what? Growing up for one thing. Plenty of embarrassing memories there. Oh yeah, that's one word for it. Hey, did you have a crush on the Spanish teacher too? Shit. <laughs> Don't even remind me. We were dumb kids then. What matters is what happened later. Maybe standing up to Dad changed you. Something I never did. Oh, really? And what did you do? Just stand and watch him take it out on Mom? I thought about stepping in. I was always a, a heartbeat away from doing it, but when it came down to it, I'd just freeze. Guess I was afraid of making things worse. Yeah, I remember the feeling. But then I reached a breaking point. Looks like you didn't hang around long enough to reach yours. Or maybe I was a coward. Going to college was a good excuse to just get away from it all. Oh, so that's where our paths split. Did you shine out there? Were you best in class? What do you think? Huh? Yeah. That build around this merry-go-round. That's who I ended up being. I'm sorry to disappoint. Why would I be disappointed? Just proves I was right to stick with Mom. Wait, is Mom... Is she maybe still around, here? No. I wish she was. She always knew what to do. And how to cheer you up. Hey. When you were down, or... Dad had just stormed out of the house, slamming the door behind him and leaving you crying in your room, would she ask me to help her make pierogi? Her famous pierogi. <laughs> oh my god, I could really pig out on those. And making them together was fun. Fun. Yeah, wow, why don't we go for it? Why don't we try and make mom's famous pierogi? No way we'd find the ingredients here. Who said they have to be right? Beer and synthetic starch should work. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> I can pull it off. You'll see. But there's one condition. You're eating them with me. If you die, I die. Why not? Won't change much, I guess. Quality food. Each person base consumes one meal per day, higher quality meals will have positive effect on the mood. Pierogi. Not quite like mom used to make them, but they have a nostalgic taste. Dann müssen wir nicht zwei machen. Okay, nope. Eat pierogi with altar. Here you are. 
famous Dolsky pierogi with an interstellar twist. What do you think? Oh. <clears throat> now I know how Mom must have felt. That day she had a terrible flu and I decided to cheer her up and make pierogi for her. Right. Yeah. I put like a ton of salt into the filling. And I overcooked them into a shapeless pulp. They were inedible. But you remember what she did? Uh-huh. She ate them all and never said a word. No, no, she said they were delicious. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So? They're delicious, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Sieht doch schon mal ein bisschen besser aus, wie wir uns da verstehen. So. So. Are we cool now? Cool. <laughs> you mean, did I come to terms with waking up as tech support for my doppelganger? You might have to give me something stronger than dehydrated dumplings to wrap my head around that. Now you're being mean. I went through a lot of trouble to make those, and they weren't that bad. You made an effort. I'll give you that. <laughs> But see, that makes it even worse. It would be easier. Eating those fucking pierogi with you. I actually enjoyed it. So did I. Sharing these memories with you, knowing you understand me, that was kind of comforting. Are you getting mushy with me? What? No. Okay, okay, just kidding. I know what you mean. I'm just not the sentimental type. Who's being sentimental? All I said was... All right, all right. Just tell me what the plan is. The corporation is supposedly on top of this, but I know better than to put my life in the hands of pen pushers. Oh, I hear you. You never know with those numbskulls. Right, so? Until the rescue ship arrives, we better watch our own asses. Do they know about me? They were the ones who told me to create you. Bastards. Tell me you know what to do. Of course, it's simple. We need to stick together and stay away from the sun. Well, there's one thing you should know. This base is a resource-consuming, maintenance-heavy sucker to operate. I have you to help me. That's not gonna be enough. I'll be blunt with you. If you want to survive, you're gonna need more people. People? What people? The Rapidium's there. Use it. Make more versions of me. <laughs> you mean me? More versions of me. You make it sound even worse. I was hoping I could avoid going through all that again. It was quite a struggle with you. Struggle? <laughs> one day you'll look back and realize I was the easy one. Mark my words. Mm. Are you real? Late this year. More real than you, I'm afraid. The altars. So, where's the captain? I told you, everyone died. Oh, this is insane. What a trip. It's not a trip, it's reality. Your new reality. Are, are we 
brothers or something? We have the same DNA, but we led separate lives. What the hell? Calm down. You're not the original, Jan, but that doesn't mean you can't be important. Well, you look like me, but also not like me. What the fuck did you drug me with, man? No, you're not hallucinating. The altars all by myself. Thanks for playing the demo and wish it now. Alter Schwede, das sah ja unglaublich gut aus. Ich bin ziemlich gespannt darauf, wie das Spiel sein wird, weil das war jetzt gerade mal einer von uns. Und das war schon ziemlich anstrengend. <lacht> Und wenn ich mir das Bild hier anschaue, kann es ziemlich lustig werden. Junge, Junge. Wird eine interessante, interessante Geschichte auf jeden Fall. Das Game ist sowieso schon auf meiner Wishlist. Wenn euch das Spiel gefällt, Wishlist ist es auch. Ich lasse auf jeden Fall gleich noch ein Feedback da. Und damit würde ich sagen, war es das mit der Demo von The Alters. Hat sehr gut geklappt mit mindestens einer halben Stunde und einer Stunde, wenn es mir gefällt. Naja, ich habe es jetzt, jetzt hier durchgezogen, weil ich es so gut fand. Könnte vielleicht ein paar Mal passieren bei diesen ganzen Demos. Aber ja, ich finde es hat sich gelohnt. Von daher werden wir uns dann sehen im Endgame. Im fertigen Spiel, wenn die Alters rauskommt später dieses Jahres und somit vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen bei dieser Demo von The Alters. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal. Ja, nicht vergessen, niemals klonen. <lacht> Tschüss.